So we are getting ready to head to Yellowstone today. Um, might do some skiing, some cross country, but Katrina's pretty close to having a baby now. So uh, we'll probably withhold. <laughs> but we're gonna take some family friends, um, show them Yellowstone, uh, see some wolves, see some bears. Yeah, should be a good day. Well, they're gonna take you along. Want some food? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the cars cleared off though. So we're just gonna get the fire stoked and yeah, everything else is ready to go. And Katrina, Katrina's made herself some food, some snacks for today, and the chores are all done. And yeah, we're gonna get this fire stoked up and then get on the road. on our way to go see the bears. Yeah, we're gonna check out the bears. We've just been wandering around West Yellowstone today, we went for a hike, uh, went and grabbed kind of brunch, and then, yeah, came over and saw some bears, saw some wolves. Uh, they just fed the otters. Uh, Liam loves the otters, and he loves the bears. So those are his two things he loves to see, and um, yeah, they're doing a bunch of construction, so can't wait to come see in the spring when we get the birds out too. Sweet. There they are. It's not four o'clock. Um, we're gonna head over to a lady who is selling raw milk just up the road from our place. Um, yeah, just gonna check out 
um, her whole operation and kind of figure out some pricing and just um, everything that she's doing as far as cleanliness or her parlor and um, yeah just also meet some neighbors of ours so we're excited for that and um, I think Liam's pretty excited too. <laughs> Yeah, his oh, dad really? used it for a calving shed, so it has, has the big door. Right. And the stairwell used to go right up here in the center. <laughs> jumping up on top of my bags there making holes. Yeah, so I, I'll, set this up, I'll set this up in jugs in the, probably about mid-March because I'll have two that are going to um, kids then and then about three weeks later I'll have the other five. Okay. And then this side is the chicken coop. The chicken coops are by far the dirtiest place. But um, he um, blew, it, blew in the foam nice. so that they stay warm. It yeah. isn't heated. And then immediately they flew up to the ceiling and started pecking out the ceiling. Of course, yeah. So I had to put this up on this side. And, uh, yeah. and I use the same thing in here, litter. And then I take this out, it goes to my garden. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's, that's what we're wanting to do. Yeah. So usually about once a week, I will pull all of it to the center. So today I just did, but they've already got it all spread out. Mm -hmm. That's a really funny. Yeah, it's all. So everything is, he just melts here. Yeah. And then we take it across, and I do all the processing over there because I don't want to have to put it in the water right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. So, yeah. oh, this is perfect. They measure how many cool. crimps are in it, the length of it, and the microns around. Oh, okay. So this is a different quality. So just having been mm. sheared for a while kind of no, deals out what happens? No, it's just a different breed. Different breed is, so I can't mix it with mine because mine yeah. is a lot shorter. Here's one mine, except for this one is um, a off a black sheet. Yeah, the stable. Yeah, apple yeah. <laughs> 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 So Not these are it. little... Um, what are they? I can't remember. These are the Almathera dairy goats. So you saying what's going on? What are you thinking, bud? Have you ever been this close to a cow, bud? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. This one's really easy. It's all right. Just got a bunch of milk, cream, yeah, and head home with all this stuff. A couple dozen eggs. Yeah, should be good. So, well, we just got out of our neighbor's place and um, yeah, got a couple, got a gallon mm -hmm. of raw milk. We got two dozen eggs. She gave us a bunch of uh, maple yogurt that she's making. Um, yeah, if you guys like this kind of information or you want more of that wealth of of knowledge from people who already have dairy cows and who are already working them and buying them and selling them and um, all that information just um, let us know in the comments and we can get more of those videos out and those types and um, yeah and just have a lot more of that information um, yeah. we have a little helpful. yeah super helpful oh, um, inspirational really nice. too <laughs> yeah really really um, they kind of run a lot they run a lot more goats it's kind of their thing um, although they still have three dairy cows, a bunch of ducks, chickens, mm. things like that. So, but like they're only milking one cow right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously then, they're staggering them. Yeah. yeah. They just sheared their sheep. Um, yeah. And they've got some some beef. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They do. Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah it's but, just nice to have neighbors, though. So it's nice to have neighbors who are doing what we're doing and who also want to help so mm -hmm. reach out in your communities find these people you know connect with them visit with them learn um, from them learn sit from at their them. feet yeah um 
so that's what we hope to do with this couple and um, they've expressed that to us and we would just yeah we're, we're very excited for that and hopefully bring you guys some more of that content as we either start milking with them or um yeah just drinking their milk oh, yeah. <laughs> um this yeah. is actually my first time getting to have raw milk i've never had raw milk before so i am super excited and even this like you can see i don't know if you can see super well but um because the car is shook it up a little bit but um there's still cream on the top <laughs> oh i'm so excited yeah. anything else any other reactions we had from the tour um was... no we have just a little bit of footage yeah um, sorry you guys <laughs> no we didn't just kind of we didn't get up in their face and and video this time um, they said we could but it was just kind of we, we had brought a bunch of people with us too we have family that you guys will probably see earlier in the video from um that just are visiting and that came with us and uh, it was just a cool experience for them for sure because they are um not from here and not from necessarily this culture but um you know they have a lot of dairies from where they're from but um yeah so it was just cool to get to see that and do a tour of a place that's just right down the street from us mm -hmm. yeah super thankful that we got the opportunity to do that mm -hmm. so really good day yeah so now we're gonna go drop this stuff off at home and go to dinner mm -hmm. like, you used to drink regular milk like that and then go to raw you can see the cream on your teeth. Oh. <laughs> For people who are lactose intolerant, like you start with half an ounce mm -hmm. a day, and then you do an ounce a day. That is amazing. And then